Okay, I want to share this one with you. You might need this one one day. So this is where I live and I have internet connection. And on the other side is a building where I rented a space right about here. And I do not have an internet connection. And I do not want to have a monthly bill for a connection in an internet service provider. So what I'm going to do is send my internet connection wirelessly from my main or where I live, we'll call it site A and the building would be site B, okay? Well, of course, there are building structures in between, but the good news is there's a line of sight from site A to site B, nothing's blocking us. Now, the devices we're going to use can cover up to 10 kilometers, okay, by specification. But in our case, it's not going to be 10 kilometers, okay? So I just want you to know that it can go that far. And I've been doing this one for a long time. In my case, it's just shorter. So let's go ahead. I'll show you the devices that I bought. So we can go ahead and start setting up this setup. Okay. So these are the devices. We have Lightbeam M5. I already unboxed them. I'm sorry I did not show it to you. But when you're going to unbox this one, you need to assemble them. And it has a very detailed um instructions here on how you're going to assemble it so that we're not going to waste time so you can see it there on the floor it's already assembled it's quite easy all right this is our updated plan okay so on the other end we need to have the other device and in the other end we need to have the b device so example this is our side a again so we need to configure our light beam M5. Then after we configure that one, we are going to connect it to our ISP router or our router at home or at my place. Then configure this device th so that it can communicate to the other side, which is our site B. After we, we, we would be able to connect to our site B, then we can connect our light beam M5 to another access point so that multiple devices can connect to the Wi-Fi or internet okay so that's the master plan now again these devices can cover up to 10 kilometers now if you want more distance like 15 kilometers 20 kilometers 30 kilometers or more you better visit the website of ubiquity because they have other devices that can cover those ranges okay since our case is less than 10 kilometers this is good enough for us okay okay so Let's start with side A. This would be the first device that we are going to configure. Now to be able to configure these devices, we need to connect them to a PC or a laptop. So you can see the port at the back here. We need to connect a cable going to the power injector. Okay, so you can see the marking here, power over ethernet or POE. That means it has power. And then you're going to plug it at the back, okay? then you can see the indicator light here that means this um, m5 is going to be powered i don't know if you can see that okay then the second port will connect this one directly to our laptop okay for now because we need to configure it after we configure this one this is the part that we connect to the router okay so for now just directly connect it to our laptop to access this device jump into your computer or your pc type in settings on a search bar click on settings, then go for network and internet. This is the adapter that is connected there. Scroll down and go for change adapter settings. Here you can see the adapter that's connected to your M5. Double click, go for details. You can see that it's not getting any IP address. So go for properties, close that and go to properties. Then you go for IPv4. We need to set an static IP so that we can connect to the M5 device. Mm -hmm. Type in 192, the 168, the one that, let's just use 100. Okay, on the submit mask, just click here and it will autofill. Default gateway, no need, just go ahead and okay, okay, close. Then we go ahead to our browser. Pop up your browser. The default IP address for Ubiquiti devices is 192.168.1.20, okay? There you go, we are able to connect. Click on advance, then 
click on proceed after that this is the first time that they are going to do this one you need to put in ubnt as the username ubnt as the password and then select your country then you go ahead and log in okay again go ahead and type in ubnt then ubnt for the password then click login then this is a quick summary of uh, your device but we are not yet interested here jump into system then try to change the password or um, try to change something and it will prompt you to change your password so i'll just click on change it will pop this window it's time to change our password so that it will not be the default so that will be up to you i'll just go ahead and type in the password that i commonly use okay change and then you can also change the name here so that it's easier to identify your devices i'll name this one as site a then click on change and then click on apply okay we're done here so let's go to wireless this should be set into an access point and on the ssid set an ssid that you are going to use then scroll down you're going to go into wireless security just use uh, wpa2 then type in the password that you are going to use to authenticate with the other device okay so as simple as that you can click change then apply all right jump into the network tab the network tab make sure this is set to bridge the next option no need to change that then scroll down here we need to change the ip address into something different because this is a default ip so i'll just choose a two five one okay then yeah change as simple as that go ahead and click apply we are going to wait this one the ip address on this address bar should change so we need to wait for it because it's going to redirect that one so the next time we're going to access this m5 site a the ip address should be 192.168.1.251 so if you cannot wait for this you can go ahead and refresh like what i did and then it's going to show 251 it's still uh, refreshing okay there you go let's go ahead and log in okay so you remember that uh, site a is 251 okay all right so this is a quick summary of the configuration that we did so everything looks good what we need to do is unplug it from our computer but make sure that it is still powered because we need the signal later on to scan it so just unplug the cable that is going to our laptop then connect the second one so that we're going to configure the site b m5 okay so just like the first light beam that we configured we are going to connect the uh, second light beam but make sure that the first light beam is still powered okay so let's go ahead and jump into my computer and start the configuration okay since the default of this is 192.168.1.20 we need to change that with 20 then we're going to be directed to the first uh, login page like what we had in the very first place okay so we need to set the uh, username i mean the default username default password then the country okay then go ahead and accept login all right so same let's jump into wireless settings make sure that that is set to station then what else nothing let's jump into the network first then i want to change the ip address into 252 so remember the first device is 251 this is 252 now if we are going to change this one and we still have the default username and password it's going to prompt us to change the username and password so that's what we're going to do and then let's go ahead and change apply okay so again this will redirect into 192.168.1.252 because we changed it now my advice to you guys every time you're going to configure a device make sure to change the default ip into something different than the default ip address so that you're not going to run into into some trouble later on let's just wait and there you go it loaded up go for advanced proceed 
then it's time to log in with the username and password we just set okay login all right so let's jump into system i want to change this device name into site b so that we are not going to have confusion later on change then do we change that yeah change apply okay so the first one is site a this is site b let's go to the main try to check the quick summary of what we did okay it's good jump into wireless settings then on the SSID, go for select. This will scan the signal that we have created earlier. So we, you can see it right away. That's Toroge Pro Site A. Click on the button, then click on Lock AP. So it's going to lock that. Then scroll down. You need to type in the password that we created earlier. So I'm just going to type that in. Go for change. Click that. Then I'll go for apply right jump into main this is the quick summary of that we are connected this is the ap mac address and then the speed that is 150 megabits connection the signal strength is strong because they are just sitting just beside each other so the next thing we're going to do is really put this one into action we go to the second floor uh, install my um, site A device and then jump into the site B and install my site B device and let's try to see if my internet will work on site B all right this is the second floor of where I live I'll set it up like that oh, nice it's easy to install plug in the cable that is coming out from my ISP router then that's how it looks like pointing to the other side the mountain okay just around there so this is the site the location the place that i rented where i'll be recording most of my future videos okay we have the site bm5 that we configured earlier we're just going to mount it in that corner pointing in the direction where the site a is located okay and making sure that we have the right angle for that let's connect the cable mm, we're good okay let's connect that m5 to our laptop in check if we can connect to site a and have our internet okay here on our laptop let's go ahead and refresh that is 252 we were able to connect to our m5 that is site b m5 okay just to be clear okay username and password press all right there you go as you can see here we are already connected and we have a signal strength that is pretty good okay we are connected to Trogi pro network okay so just try to jump in some configurations here you know trying to see yeah we're smooth the thing is we don't have internet yet because when we configured our m5 we set our network adapter into a static ip so we need to change that if you double click the adapter we're connected in click the details we do not have a default gateway so the best thing we're going to do is go to properties ipv4 and set this one into dynamic okay okay close then it's time to check our internet connection if we have try to check the status first there you go we have a new ip address with a default gateway and dns so we're good okay close that close that and then go to google i'll open a new tab there you go we have google it means to say that we have a connection okay now that we have that one working you can unplug that cable from our laptop and connect it into a um, access point so that we are going to go wireless inside this office all right yeah you just configure this one as an access point and then you can connect your phone laptops and others all right now we were able to accomplish our goal and this is the setup that we did okay now if it's your first time here on my youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video because it helps this channel grow and i want to see you on my next video